Hey guys, and welcome back to Tech It. Alrighty, on this episode, jump into holy shit! Oh, for f Christ, so how did oh, how did that even get in there? Okay, I'm oh, gonna need to oh, blow up my chest. I'm gonna make a bench. Okay, I gotta make a bench. Oh, for f just stuff off. Okay, I'm gonna pop this down, and I'm gonna make some chests and just clean this up. Alright guys, so I managed to contain everything back and this is the damage. Oh, it was immense. I actually cannot believe how much that went off. It destroyed so much. It's not so bad seeing I wanted to redo my sorting anyway, but I mean, I didn't want to have to redo this much. <laughs> but we'll just have to tidy up, I guess. Okay guys, we're back. So I fixed it all up. Pretty happy. Got all the uh, sorting done and all my pipes back in. I've got them a bit more spread out now, so if it's a bit better, I've got some iron pipes. I gotta, it's not on the right way. That's the right way. I got some iron pipe. Oh, actually, I don't think that's on the right one either. Yeah, there we go. Yep, I got some iron pipes for the advanced insertion pipe so that when this is full and they come back through, they don't try to circle into the macerator here because they were actually cycling back and that was a pain. Let's just make sure we have full... Yeah, we've got full power. So these pipes should alleviate that problem. Now I don't know why that isn't full power. It really should be full power, but... Okay, so let's give it a bit of a test. Alright, here it goes. It's pumping. I've got the red wire a little bit further back so it doesn't interact with the pipes. I think the lever may do that anyway. Hopefully not. Yep, see they'll only go the one way, rather than circling about and wasting time. Cool, in it goes. Yep, they're cooking up. Now that's come through fine, but the power's still low. Hmm, it's heating up. It definitely doesn't have that much power. That one's full. I... Oh. <laughs> Voila, there we go. Yeah, that's done. Final piece. Missed that bit. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it now. All tidied up. Well, except for that, I need to arrange that a bit more. But other than that, we're ready to get back into it. Let's do this MFSU. Alright, guys. Grabbed quite a few of the items I need to make an MFSU and a mass fabricator. So, let's take a look at the MFSU. This is it here. And it's six electron crystals, one advanced circuit, MFE, and an advanced machine block. Now, this is the largest storage device. So... You've seen all those ones there, but you haven't seen those. That's the MFE, if you don't remember. And it's what I'm using down there. So we're going to upgrade it to MFSU. So that is an energy crystal, two circuits, and six lapis. Well, not upgrade that. We're going to just make an MFSU. And we're going to make it for this purpose, pretty much. The mass fabricator. So that's two advanced circuits, two machine blocks, glowstone, laptron crystal. So I'm going to just make myself a little bit more glowstone, as I do not have any. Yep, that ought to do it. Pop that back. Cool. Alrighty. Um, MFSU. Okay. So, Laptron Crystals, that's what I need to make. At the moment I have the MFE. Now, let's do the Machine Block, actually. So, this is the one for the MFSU. Pop those there, those there. Advanced machine block. Cool. Uh, MFE. Uh, wait, no. I need to do electrons actually. So let's pop that there. And because these don't stack, I'll pop them into the project table so we can, well, utilize the project table. There we go. We need to just coat. Oh my god, I'll just right click it. We'll just coat this in the lapis and my circuits. And we need seven. Six for the MFSU, one for the fabricator. Cool, there we go. Let's arrange these up a little bit here. Now, do not charge these. In recipes, you need them to be empty. So, that's it. We've got it all. Uh, there it is. MFE, advanced machine block. And let's coat this sucker in laptrons. Laptrons is a pretty cool word, isn't it? Oh, Lapotron, maybe. Uh, what was the last item? Ah, advanced circuit. Okay, advanced circuit. Bam. MFSU biggest power storage device in the game. EUIs. Awesome. 
Now let's take a look at the cables we'll need. Now this is a H3 cable, it's three refined iron. We're going to be running that from the reactor into the MFSU. So let's grab this as I'll need to make some machine blocks and we'll need a little bit of redstone. Yep, that's it. Alright, let's go. So, I'm going to make myself a quick circuit and then I'm going to make it an advanced circuit as I actually need one more as I need two for the... Bloody hell, I need more redstone. As I, Sorry, as I need two for the um, fabricator. So, do as we always do. Where they? Oh, there it is. Cool. There we go. Alrighty. Um, let's make the cable. And let's coat this. I'm going to make four, actually. I don't have enough rubber. Okay, so HP cable is the only cable capable of carrying EV voltage. So... Let's just get ourselves some more rubber. EV voltage is what you get out of a nuclear reactor or, uh, well, you know, a nuclear reactor because it's anything over 512. And nuclear reactors can go up to a couple of thousand, things like that. So you need to wrap it about four times. Nice and snugly wrapped in rubber. There you go. It has terrible loss, but you only want to send it a small distance. That's why I only made a few. And that's the only cable I could use to transport to the MFSU. And now, the mass fabricator. So, lab trial and advanced machine blocks, advanced circuits, and glowstone. Let's start off with the machine blocks. Lay these out. Cool. Bit of this, bit of that. There we go. Alright. And I've got it all. Let's do this. Two advanced machine blocks, a laptron, four glowstone, two advanced circuits, mass fabricator. Now this is pretty much the uh, build craft, industrial craft, probably industrial craft, I always get the two confused, uh, equivalent to EE, well, I wouldn't say equivalent, but close enough to it. Um, uh, you take in scrap to amp it up and it uses energy to churn out something that you can just craft into many of the different items in the game, mainly vanilla, but you can use it to make some really cool stuff and you can also use it to make the best armor, the best armor in the game, quantum. Some will argue gem is better from EE, but I will argue against that health-wise. So, to get this whole operation going, I need to make an energy link. That's two of those. Oh, that's two gold gears, actually. Yeah, that's easy enough. So, I need to make one of those, as we'll be piping through the HP cable from the reactor straight into an MFSU, and then out of that into this energy link, and then out of that... Um, heading towards the mass fabricator. So, cool, got one pre-made. Let's just do... What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? I need to make a couple of gears first. Alrighty, I've got a couple of gears there, and they need to be gold. So, let's do this. Got a little bit of cobblestone there, nice. Oh, I don't have any iron on me, actually, so we'll grab some iron. Just the eight. Work that down. Code it. Get our iron gears and let's hit it with gold. Awesome. So is that a yes. little bit of redstone? I need three. And I believe that's it. Three at the middle. There. There. Um, cable and. I oh, guess. Advanced alloy. There we go. Energy link. Cool. So we need one of those. And I just need to, there we go, I need to power up some of these pipes. Do I have any wooden pipes? Hmm, done. None there. Oh well, we'll just make some. Easy done. There we go. Grab that. And, oh, I need redstone again. <laughs> oh. I don't like carrying too much junk on me because it always gets so cluttered, but constantly going back for stuff otherwise. Okay, there we go. So that'll be to pipe out of the um, energy link. So let's kind of stack it up how it's going to look. So pipe it there. Yeah. Uh, here it is. Cable, MFSU, energy link, pipe out, and then teleport wipe. <laughs> it's pretty much just how it'll work. All right, awesome. So that's the setup to take the power out of the reactor. Now to send it into the fabricator here so we can use the power to start making some um, UU matter 
It's the only way you can make UU adder as well, by the way. And as mentioned, you can just craft that into uh, different vanilla blocks. Uh, obviously, most notably diamond and, as mentioned, quantum. But really what you make is iridium ore, which you... Or just iridium, sorry. Which you cannot get any other way. But to power it, we need a HV engine generator. So that's a gold gear for... I mean, sorry, diamond gear for gold. Oh, God. HV transformer. And some other junk, so let's just get all into that. Cool, I've got a combustion engine, luckily. Combustion, and we'll need a bit of gold. I've got those ones ready. What else was there? Redstone, diamond gear. Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit more gold for the gear. Um, grab a bit of this. And... We have. Okay, we'll just do this. Okay. Click that in that. Make ourselves this diamond gear we need. Seen it all before. May need the diamonds for this actually. <laughs> Sell it. Oh, spend them up because I just don't care. Oh, here we go. Nice. Pop that there. What else was there? Don't know, we need the actual transformer itself. Oh God, let's get the redstone ready. Now, what is the transformer? So it's a circuit, an energy crystal, two bits of full-time insulated HV cable. God. All right, let's make the energy crystal. Bloody hell. Got it. What else was it? A cable and a circuit. All right. So do I have Pablo's there ready for the recipe? Otherwise I'm gonna need to make a circuit. And I'm gonna need to make a medium volt transformer, which is just a mach machine block and yeah, machine block and some gold cable, so we'll get that ready. Alrighty. Where is it? There it is. There we go. HV transformer. So now we just gotta wrap it in all this crap. We go, smack that in the middle, all around there. Where was it? Redstone. Damn it. Oh, he's out of redstone. Well, not out, just not on me. There we go. Engine generator HV. Now, this does the opposite of an energy link. It takes in the pipe power, the, the MJ. All right, guys. We're at the reactor now. It's all sitting there. It's got this lovely little emergency heat procedure. We'll get those pipes all running next episode with some automation. For now, let's start setting this up. Can you shift click this? Oh, no, that just opens it with a right click. All right, let's grab. Okay. I'll just bump this here and press against it. There we go. Chop that out. And, well, one height's probably good enough, actually. The loss is terrible, so we'll limit it as much as possible. Now, whack this fella down. There we go. Uh, no, oh, bugger. I'm going to need my wrench. Pull that on the wrong way. I think it's in one of these chests here. Sweet. Right here. Ooh, there we go. Da, 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 da. Alrighty then. So, uh, we'll put it on this side. I'm going to do it really slapdash looking and dodgy. Uh, I'll tidy it up. So, we're going to need to... Oh, we're going to need an EU cable. Actually, actually, this is a good time to show you. I haven't been using these when I really should as they have the, the best... Well, by the, by the best loss, I mean the least loss um, EU. And they're called... Uh, Glass fiber cables. So let me show you those. Just type fiber. And that is a diamond, two redstone, and six glass. And you get four. And you can also use two silver instead of redstone, and you actually get six. Uh, I only need, no, I only need four, so we'll just use some redstone. That, and it's right in front of me. <laughs> Whereas the silver's all the way across the room. Ignore the fact that right across the room. Okay, then. Let's fix this up. Bam. Now, this is the best cable. Not the highest voltage that it could withstand, but it is just you know, the least loss. I think it's uh, the one or half of one or something like that. Every 40 blocks. Something of the sort. Very good. So just run a couple off of there. Yeah, we'll do there. Uh, nah, I changed my mind, I think. We'll go with one. Alright. Now, 
simple task as per usual of just grabbing the energy link. There it is. Working that on there. And where Oh no, no, no. There it is. And putting the wooden conductive pipe to suck the power out. Can I remember that? <laughs> suck the power out. Wooden. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna put this on frequency two hundred. There we go. Done. So that's ready to pop into the MFSU and then pass the power on through that energy link. <gasps> Creeper. I am not trusting any creepers nearby. Die. Especially not around these these blocks. These are important. Alright. Now I'm going to do my mass fabricator in this room here. So, let's whack it. Yeah, that will do. Okay, cool. Let me show you how to set this up. So, that's your HV engine generator there. So what we made just before, out of all these lovely bits here. And I forgot to show you, they actually come in different levels. So, obviously, you've got your low volts. You can see how it works in mediums. See how it just sort of changes up a level each time. And then you've got your high volts. So, we want a high volt for this, obviously. We're going to whack it there. And, oh, wait, no, I don't want a wooden one there. We're boy piping into this, so we'll get a gold. Okay, guys, grab this gold one. Holy shit! Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm going to kill this prick. Oh, if that wasn't, if it was not for this ring, if I had the jetpack, I would have been stuffed there because I would have been on hover mode. <laughs> Oh god, okay, so we've got this gold pipe. Let's whack it down, pop that there, 200, and receive. There it goes. Cool. And just here, we're going to need to grab our glass fiber. One, two. Easy done. Hooked up. Powered. Now, in the bottom here, you can put oh, scrap. Now, scrap is made from... Oh, well, well, that's not really making it, actually. Carpenter. Well... You make scrap by um, pumping things into a recycler. You can pump anything into it, literally anything. But usually you use wood and dirt and coal stones, things like that. So it's three dirt, compressor, two refined iron, and a glowstone, and you get yourself a recycler. Cheap as chips. So use that sucker to pump in cobblestone in that, pump out scrap, which goes into the bottom there, and makes that run faster. So, this is all hooked up. Everything's plugged in. Everything looks like it should work. I still have to coat this in water, but let's just do this. Eight. In there. Look at it go. Yes. It's losing at the moment. Oh, no. Here we go. It, it warmed up. There we go. So now that is gaining. And it is also piping the power out while the MFSU gains. Go reactor. Because these use 512. And 2% already. Now, that is good. <laughs> With no scrap to be at 2% already is... Oh, oh. Imagine if that was a creeper. <laughs> God. Alrighty, um, 3%. This is working pretty quick, actually. Nice. So I'm going to set up a couple more along here, get a recycler system going. Just going to pipe in all the uh, cobble and dirt and everything like that from the quarry. Nice, thick energy stream. Good. It's powerful. I'm going to pump all that in, make some scrap, send it into here, and just amp it up so we can pump out some UU matter. So we'll get that going next episode. And until then, guys, have a good one. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Coming up on the next episode, One Man's Trash. So we take what was usually considered junk and turn it down to something useful, scrap, to turn into our UU matter for our quantum armor. Well, that's quite a distance off, but other than that, we're going to look into a few extra mass fabricators and a few other things to speed it along. And until next time, guys, have a good one.